Morning again, folks. I was on a Saturday dig this time. Got a lot of land to go at. I'd say about 20 acres. Stubble's quite soft. Soil's quite nice to dig in. Weather's good. Been going about an hour. I've had two coins so far. And I've just had a nice piece of silver. A silver artifact. I think it's one of the, you know, the front off of FOB. It's very nice. There's hallmarks at the bottom there. It may have someone's inscriptions on it or something, so I'll clean it up later. And, uh, You'll see some nice pictures right about now. I've just come from down there where I found that bit of silver. I think it's a part of a, you know, a, a fob for a, a watch chain and a, and a, and a watch. I'm sure I've seen other people find them and, and it's stuck on the fob, that particular shape. Um, but yeah, I've just come from down there. That's where I found it. And I came up here. I've got a few coins in between, a few bits and bobs, but I think I've got another silver here. I haven't took the muck off yet, so let's have a look. Sixpence. And it is. I think it's going to be Edward, you know. Come on. Yeah. Hey, you don't find many of them. Edward, seven, sixpence. Let's see if we can get a date. I think it's down here. 19 oh, I think it might be 8. <laughs> Let's have a look. 1906, I think. Okay, I'll clean it up. Pictures to follow. Catch you in a bit. Words fail me sometimes, honestly. It's my second one today. Okay. Okay, folks, the Edward 7 was just over there. A little biplane coming past, look. Lena. Yeah, just came over here. I think I might have another silver coin. You see it just there? Chilling size, milled edge. Let's have a look. Okay, I've had some dinner, back out. I just found lead item, person. I don't think it's a soldier. He's got a strange shaped head for a soldier. Not sure. He's got two legs and arms and, well, would have had ha arms and strange shaped head. Okay, carry on. I 
Okay, next item. A plane. Fish in the tail. And a wing. Okay. Hello again, folks. What I want to do is, I watch a lot of videos, and a lot of them are videos that I really like to watch, you know, the, the straight to it, metal detecting, finds, local history, the uh, history of the items that they find, you know, really knowledgeable people who put together some, some really good videos. And for one reason or another, they, they don't seem to get the subscribers. Uh, I know it takes a long time to build up your subscriber base uh, and these guys haven't been going for too long and already they've got a fair few subscribers but their videos are really good, well put together, well made and they have really good finds most of the time. Um, so the first, I'm going to do it if I remember, I'll, I'll give somebody a, a recommendation if you want to call it that. Uh, one a week or one a dig if I remember. So the first one is for Ian J. Dead easy, type it into your search in, in YouTube, Ian J. If you haven't subscribed to him or you haven't watched his videos, give it a whirl. Really good videos, really nice fella. Um, nice land, finds decent stuff, finds old stuff. Gives you the, the, the little bit of history on the item he's found. Really well put together videos. Okay, so Ian J. If you haven't subscribed, check him out. Catch you in a bit. Okay, next find, give me a 1992. You can see that. I'm going to assume it's silver because because of the signal. Can't really see much just yet though. Oh yeah, it's silver. Look, it's shilling size. Would you believe it? It's another bullet. Another bullet shilling. He must have been playing jingles with him here. There's another guy down here, down there who's found one. They must have been chucking them at each other. Maybe not as in good condition as the last one, but you know what? It's not far from where I found the last one as well, so maybe I'm in a good little area. All right, I'm not going to rub it anymore. You see what it is. It's another bullet chilling. Do you know, I hadn't had any of these. Started detecting 2012, summer 2012. It took me till January this year to find my first bullhead chilling. And now this is my fifth. Five so far this year, none for two and a half years. That's metal detecting for you. Okay, carry on. Let's try a live dig on this one, eh? I don't know how people do this, you know. Really awkward. Steady 85, 86. Come on, it's okay. It's too big to be anything good, I think. Big piece of lead, look at that. Okay, these next two items, I couldn't really take pictures of them and do them justice. 
as you can see it looks like a frog it's made out of lead it's quite big it's got like this tail bit on it it's hollow inside and then this base part here you've got like um, see pattern all the way around it with design which you didn't discover till I got home. And the next item was this huge piece of lead. I thought it was solid until I got it home and I seen there's a hole in the top. But it's hollow inside. There's a there's a chasm inside for you to put I don't know, fluid or something. Um I can't really show you it but when I put a screwdriver in I can wiggle the screwdriver around in order to get the mud out. But I can get right around to the outside or the inner edges. Um, and it would be fluid in it, I'd imagine. There's no markings on it whatsoever. Only these, and I assume they are scratches done by farming over the years. Okay, 